The Remote Desktop Commander Premium Management Features License is designed for organizations running Microsoft Remote Desktop Services or Windows Virtual Desktop who need 1. An improved remote desktop shadowing experience to deliver better remote support to end users. The built-in shadowing tools for remote desktop services in Server 2012 and later operating systems leave much to be desired. For instance, with the MSTSC client, it is difficult to shadow multiple monitor sessions and see all aspects of each user monitor properly. 2. The ability to do live monitoring of multiple user sessions at once. Many companies in highly regulated industries such as finance need the ability to spot audit user workflows at a moment's notice. 3. The ability to delegate remote desktop management tasks such as shadowing, messaging users, logging off and disconnecting users, and terminating hung applications to help desk and support staff. Heretofore, Remote desktop administrators on Windows Server 2012 and later had to give help desk and support staff administrative rights on session hosts and connection brokers, as there was no native facility in RDS to delegate user rights to non-admins. Now, our premium management features allow such delegation to be done in three easy steps. Using the Remote Desktop Commander Client Utility, operating in the free light mode or full suite mode, admins and or support staff can select multiple user sessions they wish to shadow. After selecting options, such as whether or not they wish to notify the user that they have begun shadowing their session, and whether or not they want view or view and control access, the Super Shadow tool begins and all sessions appear into view. By default, the shadowed sessions appear in the Sessions Docking pane in Mini View. You can adjust the preview size of the sessions as needed in the Docking pane. In this way, you can monitor multiple sessions in real time at the same time. To bring any session into full view, click the Expand to Full Screen button. Multiple monitor terminal server sessions are no issue for the Super Shadow tool. You can easily toggle the Smart Sizing button so that all monitors are shown in their native resolution. Then, simply use the scroll bars to navigate to the monitor of interest. It's easy to pivot between any of the mini view sessions in the dock, bringing them in and out of full view. You can show or hide the dock as required when monitoring and supporting users.
If the Microsoft shadowing protocol experiences an error, or if you need to switch from view mode into view and control mode or vice versa, you can click the reconnect button to quickly connect back into a user session and adjust the desired level of control. While a session is in full view, Super Shadow displays protocol information such as RDP latency, the transport protocols in use, TCP, UDP, or both, as well as the assessed speed of the connection. Using the RDS Management Delegation Wizard to grant help desk and support staff the right to perform specific management tasks is easy and straightforward. In Step 1, type in the name of a session host you want to serve as the master template for RDS management permissions in your farm. If you want to adjust the permissions on this session host, select Change Permissions to launch the RDS config tool. From there, you can add the Active Directory group or individual users associated with your help desk staff. Any changes you make in this tool will be reflected in the wizard once it's closed. Your help desk staff will need rights to query the connection broker to dynamically return RDS collection names and session hosts in the Remote Desktop Commander client. They will also benefit from being able to read RDS-related performance counters like RDP session latency. Right mouse click on the Help Desk Users and or Active Directory group and select Grant User or Group the ability to query connection brokers. In Step 2, enter in the names of all of the connection brokers in your RDS deployment. Then, select the session host or hosts in the various RDS collections retrieved from the connection brokers to unify management permissions upon. The permissions you assign to the template server in Step 1 will be cloned to the session hosts you select here. Finally, in Step 3, determine whether or not you want to use group policy to adjust shadowing policies, or if you want to adjust these policies directly by modifying the registry of each session host you selected in Step 2. If you select the Group Policy option, use the Microsoft Group Policy Editor to adjust these settings in the GPO associated with your RDS deployment. Otherwise, select your preferred shadowing policies here. Then, when you are ready to apply permissions and policy changes to your hosts and connection brokers, click the Apply Delegation Changes button. After the RDS Management Delegation Wizard runs, a listing will be generated of each operation and whether or not it was successful. The wizard will also remind you to schedule a restart of your session hosts during a maintenance window, as your session hosts must be rebooted before all permission changes will take effect.